Hello everyone, it is finally here, the exosuit, more specifically the Exo 45 Patriot exosuit. It is a heavy armor exosuit equipped with a rocket launcher and a heavy machine gun. Before we jump into how cool this is, let's talk about how to get it. It is currently available to be unlocked for 20,000 requisition slips, not cheap. In fact, it is probably the most expensive stratagem in there. I don't know at what level you have to be, but the game will tell you if it's not available for you to unlock it. But there is good news. You do not have to unlock it in order to use it because it is showing up as a mission stratagem. You should be able to call one. I haven't tried that because I bought it right away. So for me, I'm able to spawn three of these things during the game. Two back to back thanks to that mission stratagem. And if you have a teammate, both can spawn four of these back to back for the entire team and still have two left. I don't know how long that's gonna continue as, a, as an additional mission stratagem. It could be a week or it could be a couple of days, who knows? And this thing is really cool. I love how it gets dropped from an airship. It's just so cool. Let's just take a look. Let's just walk around. So I know that they will probably have exosuits with two cannons or two machine guns. This one is one and one. Now I understand why they nerfed the railgun to the ground in the last patch. I forgive them because now this exosuit kind of balances things out. It just destroys pretty much everything. Like with the small bugs, you don't even have to shoot them. You can just walk over them and you're gonna see them all just exploding with that green icky icky stuff. And against the charger, oh, well, let me just show you. It destroys chargers. It takes about three or four cannon shots and the charger is completely destroyed. You can see all the armor just flying everywhere. Now, against the Battle Titan, uh, not so much. I mean, that's probably expected. Nobody expected this thing to melt a Battle Titan. And yeah, that's true, but it does do quite a lot of damage because the orbital laser that I dropped after, it killed the Battle Titan pretty quickly. So I'm assuming the Exosuit did quite a substantial amount of damage. Either that or the Battle Titan got hit by one of those volcanic eruptions. I have to probably test it again a little bit better. You can also use the cannons to seal those bug nests, just like the other cannons we have. The Exosuit does not hold up against environmental hazards, such as volcano eruptions or meteor showers, in case anyone was wondering. This thing is so much fun. It makes this game so much better, so much more enjoyable. And dare I say that this could be the new meta. I cannot wait for the EXO with dual cannons. I think that's the one to use. I have yet to take this to the automaton side. So we'll see, I'll probably make another video for that. I just wanted to get this one kind of quickly for all you guys to see. I highly recommend it. I hope you had the requisition slip save that. I also tried this with the guard dog and if you go in the guard dog unfortunately does not work. I feel like it should because the guard dog just flies around you. I hope they make that change because I can see this just mwah. So hopefully it becomes true but we'll see. I also tried this with the shell backpack and you can kind of see the dome of the shell at the top of the exosuit, but I don't think it's doing anything in terms of uh, protection or anything like that. It's probably the same as the guard dog. It's just there, but not doing anything. I really want to put a 69 right in front of the exosuit. Anyone with me on that one? <laughs> anyway, I think it's fantastic. Highly recommend it. So now all you gotta do is go deal some democracy. Alright, thank you all for watching, love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video.